Hi guys, Sacha from NetbookNews.com with the new, uh, well not the new one, but that's the Nuke Touch. Uh, I got this about uh, two months ago in the US and I really, really like this uh, Pearl E-Ink display and the form factor, battery life, whatever. You know what? Yesterday in New York, Barnes & Noble had the huge event with a new uh, Nuke tablet and it also has been showing a new firmware version for the Nuke Touch. So this one is still running. Oops. Let's go to settings and then device info. This one is still running about your Nuke. The 1.0.0 version. So just to show you how the page turning looks like right now. can see that. So Barnes & Noble says, you know, they're gonna roll out um, a wireless update in the next couple of weeks, but if you just want to get it right now, it's pretty easy to do that. All you have to do is, hold on, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, there's my laptop. Oops. Okay, here we go. total chaos on my on my desk so um, just connect your nuke with your micro USB cable uh, this way here we go and then you're going to download the firmware and you're just copying it to the root directory of your nuke I'm gonna put um, the link to the firmware here underneath the video so that you guys can see that oh this takes a while to copy there's by the way a nice little walk through and how to, step by step how to uh, on uh, laptopmac.com. Evram did this and there's also a link to download this version. So here we go. That's it and now let's disconnect the Nuke. and then you just have to wait for a couple of minutes until it falls asleep and it's going to restart and install the new automatically installing the new firmware so I guess you don't want to wait that long that's why I'm gonna pause here okay here we go it took me almost like uh, I would guess five minutes to get to the point where it completely installed the new firmware hopefully it's working now so my nuke is starting up fingers crossed and we should definitely see an improvement um, on the page turning animation that would be should be way quicker the refresh rate of the screen and um, black should be definitely a little bit more black and we might even see a better quality of uh, the characters and how they are rendered. Okay, almost there. Can I already see a difference? I don't know. Just, uh, I mean, it's been brilliant before. And, uh, okay. seems to be a little bit more clear right now to me. so uh, let's give it a try oh yeah Jesus that's a huge difference I would say it's almost like twice as fast can you see that 
they also they also rendered the the font a little bit differently so the whole layout looks quite different to the 1.0.0 version um, let's check this out and go into device info about your nuke and here we go it's 1.1.0 so this was a little how to how to uh, update your nuke touch to the latest firmware I'm Sascha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.